morning folks. So yeah, I'm on the tube and I'm gonna get all to myself in a minute. But you know what they say, don't speak too soon, eh? But anyway, yeah, so I'm not sure where we're gonna go today. Um, sorry about there not being a video yesterday. Uh, I just needed to catch up on some sleep. Uh, we're going now. I need to catch up on some sleep and basically uh, I just wanted to have a chill out day so apologies that it was a bit of a sort of just mashed up video that I put together uh, not particularly good either I don't think so apologies for that um, but I had to put something up you know I'm like I don't I hate leaving it without anything at least uh, anyway yeah so like I said it literally is a mystery tour. I have no idea because I cannot decide where to go. We might end up at Canada, um, Canary Wharf again, but I'm not sure yet. Right, in a bit, because it's going to get really noisy on here. Hi folks. So, at Hyde Park Corner right now, uh, I've just spotted this interesting sculpture over here. And I thought, I've got to go check this out. You know, let's get across this thing here. Let's go check this out a minute. So, uh, yeah. Look at this thing here. This is new, at least it's new to me anyway. I've never seen that before. I don't know what the hell it is exactly. And there's uh, some sort of plaque thing here anyway. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> What the heck is it? Uh, okay, 1965, the year of my birth, eh? Uh, Christie's... Uh, what's that say? Private sales... Uh, Brahms as usual. Hmm... Interesting. Quite amazing. Different. I've seen a sculpture like that before. Wow. That's so cool, huh? Right, uh, okay. Got these nice waterfalls over it. Ah, you see what I mean? You see? Why did I tell you about the fact that sometimes I say that by mistake? Obviously, I mean fountain, and I'm saying waterfall. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Right, so, it seems how we're at Marble Arch and Hyde Park Corner because you know what's at Hyde Park Corner, don't you? And on a Sunday it's uh, Speaker's Corner, isn't it? Now, we'll go and have a little look seems how we're in the vicinity wasn't necessarily my intended uh, target for today uh, but uh, I was thinking, well, we're sort of I got off at Oxford, uh, Oxford Circus Tube. Uh, I just couldn't make my mind up. I just could not decide where the heck I wanted to go. And so I thought to myself, why not uh, just sort of head in this general direction uh, and just basically see where I end up, essentially. Uh, pretty much like always basically you know just kind of see where we end up uh, I have no real aim or goal as such today uh, but sometimes I must admit I kind of like having a set plan sometimes set idea at least of somewhere or a sort of a, a general area or general idea of where I'm going uh, because I feel a little bit aimless if I'm just wandering around without any specific idea of where to go. Now look, there's a soapbox. That's awesome. Look at that. Now that is awesome. I love that. Stand up for something. Soapbox. Hey, they've put a soapbox right there for me. <laughs> so I can get on my soapbox and waffle on about whatever. Speaker's Corner. So there they are, look, there they are. All the dudes standing on boxes. 
you know, blurting out whatever the heck it is that they they believe or whatever they uh, you know think is important, and uh, off they go, you know. And then sometimes they entice the crowd, and sometimes not necessarily. I guess it depends on what they're saying at the time. Uh, but it's a tradition that's gone on for a few hundred years. I don't know how many, but a good few at least. So, uh, this dude's only got two people watching him. <laughs> he may have had more earlier on, but, you know. And we've got these uh, uh, youths here dancing and singing for some reason. No idea why, but I don't think they're necessarily part of the Speaker's Corner thing. I think they're just tourists. So, yeah, like I said, obviously, here we are at the famous Speaker's Corner. We need to consider when to make things better in every field of human endeavour just to search for the truth. So, thank you. Cheers. So, uh, great, a bit of wind noise now. Jesus said, I am the way! No, you don't! You believe in your Easter, not Jesus. I am okay, very simple. Do you know where you're going to heaven or hell? But well, why don't you know? Why don't you know? So why is it that I know that so you don't? I'm not <coughs> So folks, that like said, that's the famous speaker's corner for you. Why is my, what's that flashing for? That was weird. Something was flashing on my here. Uh, that was weird. What the heck? Hmm. What the heck? Uh, right. Okay. Something a bit weird going on with the camera at the moment, and I can't quite work out what it is. So, uh, for the time being, I'll uh, I'll leave it there, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Hi, folks. So, yeah, like I said at the moment, there's no clear goal uh, or end game to this. Not that a lot of my videos tend to be like that anyway, generally speaking, but uh, yeah, I don't know, today I just feel so aimless. I feel so like a rudderless ship. That's a good way of describing how I'm feeling right now. A rudderless ship, essentially, just drifting along, uh, with, you know, aimlessly, essentially, uh, with no clear idea of where I want to go or what I want to do. To be quite honest, uh, it's a glorious sunny day, by the way, as you can probably 
notice. Uh, so, look at the apple blossom. Uh, that's nice. Springtime is a nice time of year, actually, when you think about it. Joanna loves this time of year. She absolutely adores this time of year. She really does. She really likes it. Uh, of course, summertime has always been my, my favourite time of the year, for the most part, anyway. Uh, but uh, I've got to admit, and it's actually quite warm now, actually, interestingly. Uh, I must admit, I'm, I'm kind of like questioning, do I really need my jacket right now? And it's like, fucking heck, you know. Uh, this is Selfridges, by the way. This building next to us. These apple blossoms are really nice, man. They're really, really nice. I love that. It's a sort of, like I say, springtime when you think about it. It's uh, all about renewal, isn't it? New beginnings, essentially. Renewal and, yeah. Look at that, this is grand entrance and half, isn't it? Hey, look at that for an entrance, eh? Selfridges. I love that thing and all, look at that. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I must admit though, I kind of, I kind of don't like uh, not having a, a, a an aim or a goal or you know a purpose in that sense. You know what I mean? This aimlessly wandering around tends to irritate me a lot. I don't really like it. I mean, it's all right sometimes. It all depends, uh, but. To be quite honest, today I don't feel like uh, just aimlessly wandering around. So then you think to yourself, well, why don't you set yourself a goal, a place to go, or something? But again, it's one of those where, for whatever reason, um, I just can't seem to. Uh, like I said, very indecisive, very sort of like I don't know what to do with myself, kind of thing, basically. So anyway. No. Uh, right, I think, uh, actually I don't think, I have no idea what I'm thinking right now. So, for the time being, uh, I'm going to leave it there and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Hi folks. So, uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe go and have a look inside Liberty. Uh, like I said to you before. I have kind of filmed in there a little bit uh, and uh, like I said from what one of the shop assistants told me a few years ago now uh, that a lot of the interior is made from an old wooden ship apparently uh, so but uh, yeah uh, it's whether I can actually film in there or not because sometimes you can kind of get away with it and sometimes not just depends uh, and it is a beautiful building inside it is there's no two ways about that it's beautiful I think so anyway uh, and it being like a, essentially a department store very posh one at that and a very exclusive one but still uh, and uh, like I said uh, yeah I've kind of been wanting to sort of go back in and try and film a little bit of it again uh, but I might be taking the liberty do you know what I mean what a liberty it's a right liberty isn't it it's a right liberty you take the liberty <laughs> sorry oh my god yes I know I'm not going to give up my day job anytime soon a comedian I definitely will not make <laughs> what are you on about Leave it out, John. <laughs> right. He's taking a bloody liberty. <laughs> right. Okay. So, for the time being, maybe, maybe not. See you in a moment. Bye for now. Whew. Hi, folks. I just wanted to show you some of the stairs quick. There's cameras all over this place, so... Just now they're watching me right now. Oh, isn't that a cool staircase? Well, this is just a side staircase. It's not even the main staircase. Do you know what I mean? God blimey. This is a... Uh, God blimey, Charlie. I'm not as fit as I used to be. Oh my God. Uh, anywho. Uh, yeah, like I said. 
a lot of this wood uh, comes from an old sailing ship apparently uh, so I mean I don't know if all of it because obviously there's a heck of a lot of it and I think it would take several ships actually not just one but uh, from what uh, the member of staff said to me was that uh, you know uh, a lot of the panelling and features and, and what have you all come from a ship an old wooden ship oh my god right momentarily hi folks so i just like doing a quick voiceover on this bit because there was copyrighted music playing uh and it was quite loud and uh so just to cover myself uh i thought i would just do a quick voiceover on this bit um sorry this is a bit out of focus uh but i wanted to include it because um like I say I wanted you guys to see just how beautiful this building is. It's amazing. I love this place. Uh, you know, it just all that wood. I love wood anyway, and I love wooden structures and stuff. And so, okay, I'll leave it there. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Yeah, this is uh, quite an awesome place, man. Like I said, all these beams, all this wood. Well, a vast majority of it, from what I understand. Like I said, is from an old ship. So that's pretty amazing, man. That's pretty amazing. Really cool. I say, you know, the, the the detail and stuff, and you know what I mean. And I love the fact that you've got these open sort of spaces here like that as well. That's pretty cool, man. It's a pretty cool place. So uh, I think we'll go down. Well, actually, I'm not sure which way to go right now, actually. Uh, some of this will have to be B-roll because of the music, uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah. Um, let's see, this is an interesting little spot here. This rug, uh, carpets and rugs. See look, look at this. It's so colourful. I love it. Look at this. This is awesome, man. So cool. Right. Okay. So. Let's uh, head downstairs, I think. Okay. It is a nice little place, though. I always wanted to film in here uh, many times, but like I said, I'm super, super conscious that at any moment somebody could turn around and say, Excuse me, I'm not supposed to film in here. Do you know what I mean? So, that's the thing, you see? But it is a cool place. It's got to be one of the coolest shops I've ever been in, to be quite honest. I love all the detail, like I said. Look at the detailing on this wood. Oh, that's really cool. The detailing on the wood is so awesome, man. And I love all these little nooks and crannies. Uh, look at these little windows here, look. Oh, look at the little windows. That goes over that alleyway. You know, we've walked down there before. Walked down that little alleyway many times before. Uh, and this is the little thing that you look up and you see the little windows. It's really cool, man. It's a such a, I mean, can you imagine working here? Do you know what I mean? What a place to come to work every day. You know, it looks so fascinating and interesting. Do you know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. So, it's absolutely awesome. Right, so for the time being, I'll leave it there, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. So, okay folks, so I'm going to head out now. Um, but, I uh, so we'll have one last look at this amazing staircase. Like I said, this is just, no, it's not even one of the main ones, it's, uh, it's a wall saying, like I said. Uh, you know, uh, one of the side staircases, actually as it goes. So, and these lovely little windows, man. Little lead windows. It's really cool. Yep, it's a beautiful little place. But it's, uh, it's absolutely beautiful, man. I mean, huh, you know, you think about some of the other places that are around, and some of these modern stores or whatever, and what have you. And you come to work in a place like this every day, it's just, I think it would be awesome, man, to be quite honest. Mm. 
would be really, really cool to work in a place like this. Staircase at the front of the building. Uh, and as you can see, yeah. like I said the detailing on this wood, on this panelling, it's pretty amazing, man. It's pretty awesome. Right, main lobby, so catch you guys like ah. Oh. Yeah, so there you go, folks. There's liberties. Liberty. It was such a liberty. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you ever happen to come to London, uh, for whatever reason, a visit, whatever, if you ever get the chance, and if you're in the vicinity, I definitely recommend checking that place out. I mean, you might not be able to necessarily afford half of the things in there. I was just checking out the, um, mind you, of course I'm making an assumption there about your financial situation of whoever is watching, but um, I'm sure there'll be something in there you might be able to buy, maybe. Uh, but, basically, uh, I was just checking out in the men's department just then, and like, now again, it's, you know, when you think about it, uh, it's all relative anyway. Um, and in the grand scheme of things and what have you, but uh, I saw a pair of jeans in there, 120 quid. <laughs> you know, it's like flipping neck. That's a week's wages, man. Oh, look at the state of the line. I need to. I need. Uh, 120 quid. 120 quid. Huh? 120 quid. Like I said, that's that's virtually a week's wages for me. You know what I mean? It's like, and that's just for a pair of jeans. But then again, like I said, it's not like massively expensive, is it? Let's be, let's be honest. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've come across more, very more, much more expensive stuff than that. Anyway, right. Uh, not sure where my feet are going to take me next, but for the time being, I'm going to leave it there, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Hi, folks. So. Uh, yeah, you know, that's one, one of the things about uh, Soho, that's where I am right now, by the way, uh, is the amount of interesting, amazing motorbikes that you come across. Look at this thing here. I mean, it looks old. And look at the shape of the tank. That's a really weird shape. I've never seen a, a motorbike tank shape like that before. That's really fascinating. Wow. I couldn't tell you what they are, I haven't got a clue. Amazing looking machine though. Holy moly. Wow. See, look at the fuel tank on that one, compared to this one. Interesting. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, that's one of the things about Soho I've noticed, uh, around here, in particular, is the amount of, like well, I said, Really awesome motorbikes that I see parked up around. It's looking amazing actually. It's a triumph here. And this one. Huh. Nice. Let's check this. Oh, there's a few here, you know what? Look at these ones here. Some really nice, interesting bikes parked up here. Hey, look. look at this one here. Whoa. Flipping awesome, man. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Nice. 
Oh man, that is awesome. Look at that. Harley, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is nice. Look at the seat on it. Look at the saddle on that. That's awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome, man. There's a few of them parked up here, look. Look at this thing. What the heck is that? No way! Oh, it's a Triumph as well, I think. It looks like it says Triumph on the tank, but I can't quite tell. Oh, yeah, there's another one here, look. Wow. Oh, these old bikes, man, are awesome. I love them. Love them. So cool. <laughs> a lot of Triumphs here. Look at that. That's chunky. Wow. Yeah, Harley, another Harley. Nice. Whoa, look at this thing. <laughs> it's like leopard skin seat, man. Well, not like real leopard. Um, leopard, I mean. Uh, another, ha another Harley. Oh, that's a newer looking Harley. Yeah, that looks quite up to date, like you know. Quite a modern looking one. I, I like to say, don't get me wrong, you know, I might be uh, marvelling at these things and what have you sort of thing. I'm no expert. I am far from it. Far from it. I just love the look of them. I think they look awesome. But I couldn't tell you, you know, anything about them necessarily other than the fact that I love the, the way they look and how they look. And they look absolutely amazing. Wow. It's a BMW here. Oh, this one here. That looks like my mate, actually. He's got a blue one, or a blue in colour anyway. That is really cool, man. Yeah, it's very similar to the one he's got. It's not the same, but very similar. Uh, with the two twin exhaust thing. Right. Wow. So cool, man. So cool. You see, this is why I like, like I said, you know, you never know what the heck you're going to come across. Do you know what I mean? You just wander around, wander around and, you know, you turn a corner and all of a sudden, bang! What do you find? This. Wow! Flipping egg. That is so cool. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. This guy here. Wow. Awesome, man. Whoa. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wow. Oh, look, look at this. There's another one hiding behind here. Look, look at this. Look at this thing. There's a lot of triumphs here. Wow. Oh, oh man. There's some sort of biking convention or something. I don't know. Sort of bikers convention, eh? There's loads of them, man. Oh, there's a Norton there. Well, that looks a bit like the one we saw in that shop round here. Funny enough. Yeah, looks very similar to it. But the one in the shop is a lot newer. Well, a lot cleaner looking, I guess. If that's the right way of putting it. Uh, I'm trying to get across the road, actually. I want to check a couple of these ones out over here. Nice. Yeah, some sort of, like I said, some sort of biker's convention or somewhere, I don't know. Oh, did it? <coughs> <coughs> well, flipping amazing. Oops. Looks like that's another Harley in there, but I can't say for certain. And of course we've got the old, uh, what's the name here? The old uh, tarmac uh, machine. <laughs> it's like it's got everything today for me, hasn't it? Tarmac machines, motorbikes. Look at that. What next? Oh, hang on. I'm gonna... I'm trying to spin round to have a look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. 
I love the smell of tarmac in the morning. Smells like victory. <laughs> oh man, that is so awesome. Actually, you can actually smell it in there, and no? I love it. Love the smell of tarmac. I do. Right. Momentarily, I'm gonna. Have, I've just noticed there's a there's a what's the name? Uh, Jessup's right next to me, so I'm gonna go and have a nosy. Not that, see what I can't afford. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye for now. Hi, folks. So it's a glorious day. It's an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, beautiful sunny day. It's nice and warm and all. Uh, not a lot of wind, a little bit, but not much. Uh, essentially, ideal vlogging weather, essentially. Uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, so, yeah, basically I've just been wandering around aimlessly, like I said. That's, uh, I think that's going to be the, the theme or the, the name of this vlog is going to be... Um, It's going to be aimless, aimlessly wandering. <laughs> That's all I've been doing. So, I mean, it is a Sunday after all, and you know, I'm just I'm quite enjoying my walk around actually. Uh, but I'm afraid it's a little bit sort of boring from your pr perspective, I guess. Um, you know, it's just essentially me waffling, waffling and wandering around. Uh, right, just trying to decide which way to go. Uh, right, so I'm going to head over towards Leicester Square, I think, just for the time being. Uh, so for the, for the time being, I'm going to leave it there. I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Okay folks, so <laughs> I just had to come in here. I just had to. I mean I was walking past, right? This is just off Soho, this is like towards Leicester Square. And basically, right, as I was walking past, so like, uh, you know, just and I was intrigued. I looked at the window and I saw the shamrocks on the window and I'm thinking like, what's this thing? At first I thought it was a restaurant. And I thought, like, I've never seen an Irish restaurant before. Do you know what I mean? It was, like, really intriguing, like, you know, because I'm thinking, like, you know, obviously I've seen plenty of Irish pubs. I've been in plenty of Irish pubs. Do you know what I mean? But I'd never seen an Irish restaurant, at least that I'm aware of. I mean, maybe such a thing does exist somewhere, but, you know, I've never come across one. So, uh, particularly in London, anyway, but... So I was like looking in the door and I'm kind of like trying to work out what is this restaurant? What the heck? What is this? And uh, anyway, the girl, as I looked in, I realised then it was a bar and it was a, like a pub or whatever. And then as I was looking in, the girl behind the bar, there was only like one or two customers or whatever, I guess. Was in, and she's going like this to me. She's going like, come in, come in, come in. Do you know what I mean? Because I was looking through the door, like, you know, I was staring through the window. You know what I mean? Because I was intrigued. I was trying to work out what the heck it was. And uh, so she's going like that, she's beckoning to me. And like I say, I'm not an ignorant person, me. I'm not, I, you know, she's calling to me, so I'm kind of like, oh well, I better go and say hello, or whatever. And uh, anyway, I popped in and got chatting to this person at the bar, and 
I think they've like, they been here for years, apparently. 22 years, at least. You know, I've walked down this road that this pub's on a million times, never noticed it, never twigged it, never. And the, all the time I've, you know, it's only round the corner from Leicester Square. Never twigged this place before, never twigged it. It's amazing. You'll see some of the B-roll I did of this, you know what I mean? Incredible. I love it. It's like, apparently it's Harry Potter themed. Uh, like a Harry, Harry Potter themed type thing or whatever. Um, it's incredible. Love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, you know, it's like... <laughs> this place is awesome, man. I'm going to take you around. I'm going to show you a little bit. Now, they might... I don't know what the uh, thing is going to be necessarily, but I just have to show you this place because it is flipping amazing. Oh man, this is such a cool place. I've never been to such a cool pub before. This is flipping amazing, man. I love these uh, things in the floor. Like uh, what you get on the pavement somewhere, you know what I mean? With like a basement down there. That's really cool, man. That's so amazing. Look at this place, man. It's so cool. I'll show you some more in a minute. We'll see how we get on. This is so cool, man. This place is awesome. This is so awesome, man. I love this place. It's really cool. There's all these little, look at this tree thing here, look. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, man, this is so cool. Look at that. Love it. What an amazing place. I have never been in such a flipping amazing cool pub in my life. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's got the trees and everything, man. It's so cool. Look at this floor. It's like sawn off, like, you know, logs or whatever. I don't know what you, how you describe that. But, man, this place. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yay! I love all these little nooks and crannies. Do you know what I mean? There's all these little nooks and crannies and... Do you know what I mean? It's so cool, man. Right. Okay. Um, so just for now, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, we're out of focus. No! Come on, camera. Focus, man. Focus! Oh, look at that. It's well out of focus, man. <coughs> oh, man. Look at this. That was well out of focus, wasn't it? Oh boy. Oh, that is so cool. I love that behind me like that. That is really cool, man. So, okay. So for the time being, I'll leave you there and I'll catch you guys later. This is an amazing place. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Love it. So, catch you guys later. Bye for now. Okay, folks. I just had to show you this. I know it's what's then, but I just had to show you this. Look. <laughs> Look, you pee in a bucket. <laughs> I love it. Yes, I'm installing that same pub. This is awesome, man. <laughs> I love it. The urinals are a bucket. I love it. Oh, man, is that not funny? Is that funny? <laughs> I love it. Pee in a bucket, guys. I, love, I, got the, I think they're Belfast sinks. I'm not sure. Not being an expert in this field, but it looks like Belfast sink. So, which would essentially be. How do you stop that tap? <laughs> you see what I'm like? I'm telling you, I am a funny soul. So, see that tap dripping bugs me, and and I want to turn it off because I can't stand to see it dripping, and I, I can't because it won't stop dripping. Right. Catch you guys later. Bye for now.